I'm Ty Warner with Kisoft USA, and I want to talk today about modifying results in your Kisoft window. So in Kisoft, we have a screen, uh, we have our, our uh, main data input dialog windows, and we also have um, our results window. So to start out, I'm just going to go ahead and open a, an example for cylindrical gears. We'll do gear pair 1A. And what I'll do is I will run a quick calculation. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can see on the bottom for the results that uh, we have root safety, flank safety, and then we have some scuffing and uh, micro pitting. These are both steel gears, uh, but maybe you want to see sliding, uh, specific sliding factors, that kind of thing. And you want to modify this results dialog box to some things that maybe you want to look at while you're iterating your gear design. Kissoff can definitely do that. It's not too difficult. If you go to the search item, in the lower right corner, left corner, and type in report. Uh, you can get lots of information on here. Your setup, your definitions and reports, uh, all kinds of things that you can go through and actually modify them. I'm not going to get into the to the uh, the manual too deep, uh, although you can. But um, You can go here to add in additional tabs and dialogs, and you can even do user-defined uh, variables. And what's interesting is if you do click on one of these and then go to Manual, you can see that it takes you right to the Manual subheading where it goes. So, but we're going to do this uh, results dialog box first, and we're going to add some a few things that uh, we want to see. So. First thing, you need to understand a little bit about Kissoft and how it does its work. Kissoft is installed, and this is for a single user net, uh, single user license. You can also do this with network license. Uh, you just need to know where your um, where those fo files are located, and you can make those changes. Uh, in Program Files x86, you filter through and you find your Kissoft folder. Kissoft, in this case I'm looking at 2016. Be the same for 2015. All of your report um, files are located in the RPT folder under Kissoft. These we never change. Okay? This is standard with the program. Uh, you just you don't change these programs, these these files. And you can open these in the text viewer and make changes, but what we do is we would normally take and make a copy of one of these reports and we'd copy it to our desktop. In this case we want to look at our results tab and it's for Z12 which is our cylindrical gear and our result files are these RESA which is American inches, RESE which is metric in English. Uh, RESD, I think that's Dutch, F is French, I is Italian, um, and so forth. I think RESS is Spanish. Um, so Z12, RESA. We're going to copy this. And I'm just going to place it here on the on the um, on my desktop. Because I'm going to change that in the English. So the other thing I need to know is where am I going to get the information in the code to change this report? Because I need to add it in here somewhere. And right now what we see in the report and the results is this tip circle. Um, we're seeing uh, some other things too. Tooth flank load. These are uh, the loading in here, but we're not actually seeing them in here because there's an if-then statement. So 
uh, that because of this if then statement, we're not seeing it. But we can add information in here. I don't normally go through, and I wouldn't recommend you um, change a lot of these. You can, uh, but basically you need to understand how you're changing it in the logic flow. So normally what I would do is I would add this information right at the end uh, after this end semicolon. I usually make a space. So the question is, where am I going to get the information to put in there for sliding coefficients? And the answer is, well, in my reports, we have this thing called our main report, which is going to end up being the geometry of the gear, geometry A. Okay? And the reason I cho chose Z12 is because Z12 right here. That's the module we're in. But what I can do is I can open this Geometry A report as a text file. And this has a tooth geometry data for single gear. And it's going to look at each gear. Uh, you can see it's English, American units, inches, because here's the conversion factor. right? So it's converting the, the metric to English right here. I want to find the sliding information. I do a control F and I type in sliding and here I am. Max velocity at tip, specific sliding, mean, sliding factor, etc. Uh, because I want the max sliding velocity as well, I'm going to highlight these lines of code. And then I'm going to do a control C. And then I'm going to close this. And then I'm going to go into my result folder, my, my result Z012 result A, R E S A. And I'm going to paste it right at the bottom. Now I don't need this end statement in here because I just want the values. So I'm not asking the program to do any specific um, if-then statement. So I get rid of this. And now I have max sliding. I get rid of these numbers here because this is really the numbers for uh, the main report. I, otherwise, it's just going to show a 5 in front of it. So I'm getting rid of these. And I don't need these uh, variables here. I just want the numbers in here. Otherwise, my result box is going to show those variables too. The zeta A, zeta F, zeta M. And maybe I line it up a little bit with these other ones. So I save this. I do a file and I save. And I saved it to my desktop. Okay? Right now, this is where it is, right here. I go into my external file under KISSOFT, my EXT folder, and I go to my report because KISSOFT looks in this folder before it looks in the other folder um, to make sure it doesn't have any user-defined reports that it needs to look at first. In this folder, then, what I do I'm just going to shrink this a little bit so we can see, is I am going to grab this and make a copy. I'm going to paste it in here. You need to have admin permissions. So now I have this result folder that I've made the changes for that KISSOFT will look at initially. So now I go into my extras and I say, well, I make sure that I'm in inches. And you can see this is what information, I'll, I'll even pop this out. If you double click on that box, you can, you can pop it out of there and then you can expand it a little bit. Okay. And now I'm going to do a calculation again. And now I have my max sliding velocity, my specific sliding at the tip, at the root. I have the mean specific sliding, sliding factor, and I have the sliding factor on the root. Okay. And that's how you'd make your, you know, your result report 
say the things that you want to see. And and this might be important for you as you're doing your you know as you're doing your iterations in your, in your program. If you double click, that drops back down in here, and you'd have to slide it up and down. We do the same thing for the metric. In the metric. We go to our KISSOFT folder. We go to our report folder. We filter down to Z12. Uh, res E right here. We copy that. Paste it to our desktop. We can open this now. And we have that text information, right? Just like the last one. But we do the same thing. Now we go up to Z10 Geometry E. Right here. This is our metric geometry file. This is our metric geometry report. We double click it. Control F brings up a fine dialog box. Sliding. <clears throat> it take, we can do a fine next if you want. It's right there. We go ahead and we highlight these lines again. Control C. Close this. Now we go back into our Res E report, which is our metric result report. We go down on the bottom, Control V to paste, get rid of that if end or this number one end statement because we don't need it. Because we're not asking the program to think for us, we're just saying print these. Get rid of the fives and the nines on here because it's not really doing anything for us. And then we delete these things over. It's really actually not too bad to do it. You just need to be able to think a little bit like a like a code writer. Um, but these are these are in here now. I do a file save. Uh, again, I'm saving this to my desktop right here. I go to my external report, ext report. I copy this, and I paste it in here. And actually, let's, let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and erase this. Continue, right? I still have it out here. But if I run here to, to my... Uh, metric and I run this there's nothing in here but when I when I add that back in okay now I have all my sliding velocities and you can do this for whatever one you want to put in here or whatever is important to you while you're doing your design maybe your you know your pitch diameter is important because you have to stay within a certain pitch diameter I don't know but it just the the thing here is it's pretty easy to make these changes once you understand how the program looks at the files and makes changes hopefully you found this in, informative um, you should be able to make those types of changes to your result dialog box again if you need more information you can call me Ty Warner at KISSOFT USA or you can go on our web page and go to our support email and, and ask questions there. Um, but we're we're always happy to explain how things are done. This is just a just a short little demo of how easy it is to make changes to your result tab. Thanks for watching.